my at home overview of the ballistics test of the .264 130 grain Swift Sirocco 2 and do a quick shout out no I don't have any uh, sponsorships or anything but I do want to guide you guys to this company sub moashooting.com they have these sample packs that has really helped me keep my cost down not having to go buy 50 or 100 bullets when I only need a handful to do a job like this so go check them out great place to buy sample packs very fair in their pricing we're going to start left to right here with my low velocity load I've already pulled that bullet out of the gel sometimes when I flop my blocks and shoot I lose those so that one came through the board started opening up decent at about an inch and seven eighths or so then you have that good portion of that uh, permanent wound cavity running from the two and a half inch mark to past the 10 inch mark where it tapers down and you have permanent wound cavity carrying to the 19 inch mark and roughly where that bullet was resting would be between 22 and 23 inches I know it was right in here and I can see where I cut my hole in the bottom side to pull it out that uh, larger portion of that permanent wound cavity it's a good three and a half inches uh, overall I have to say I've been I'm very impressed with these that lower velocity one I believe was right around 1940 so under 2,000 feet per second um, but over 1900 feet per second that high velocity load was just over 2,800 feet per second and it opened up going through that piece of leather and board so by the one inch mark it's opening up good from that inch and a half inch mark to the 12 inch mark you got good permanent wound cavity where it's tapering down and you got that permanent wound cavity carrying to just shy of the 17 inch mark with that leading edge of that bullet at roughly 20 and 7 eighths it did split all four sides of my block so you have a uh, over five inch uh, permanent wound cavity there so overall I have to say I'm very pleased with these bullets I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out now and I'll go rinse the gel out of it so I can give weight retentions quick and I'll be right back. High velocity load was 124.7. Low velocity was 128.7. One thing I can say I noticed that I like about these on that lower velocity is how even those pedals pulled back. So it actually went fairly straight in the gel. When they uh, peel back heavier on one side or the other, they really cause them to veer hard. And a lot of the other tests I've done, overall, very happy, very pleased with what those bullets did. Uh, may actually have to consider start using them for a primary hunting bullet because that is 
definitely impressive. I primarily use the uh, Acubon long range bullets right now, which do have a broader range of effective velocities than what these do. But overall, I think these might be a slightly better performing bullet in general. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs>